Elon Musk is many things. A visionary leader, an entrepreneur, an investor, a business magnet, an engineer, a micromanager, and behind all the said attributes, a troubled genius. Yes, despite Elon's innumerable groundbreaking innovations and technological brilliance, he is also known for his atypical routine with minimal sleep hours. While the rest of the world believe that sleep is an investment in the energy required to be effective tomorrow, Elon, however, is firmly convinced that sleep is for losers. Join us in today's video as we walk you through Elon Musk's unusual and sometimes unsettling sleep pattern and its repercussions on society, his company, and himself. Elon Musk has too many things under his belt, and we're not talking about some minuscule firm. He is the founder, CEO, and chief engineer at SpaceX, early stage investor, CEO, and product architect of Tesla Incorporated, founder of The Boring Company, and co-founder of Neuralink and OpenAI. In short, a centi-billionaire. Each of these companies has excelled in their respective fields, with respect to technology and vision. Having just recently turned 50 years old, how could he achieve all this, single-handedly, without a mentor? The Wall Street Journal once reported that he's the one who could fall asleep under his desk or on the factory floor, worries about the remotest occurrence of rogue employees within his firm, and micromanages to the smallest issue possible. Elon Musk has come under the scanner many times for his over-the-top involvement in company matters, and many board members from his companies have also put their papers down for the same reason. But he is what he is today because of his dedication and determination to run what he established at its best. But it all comes down to the cost of something. How does he manage to run the show? Just as Elon is famous for all his achievements, he is equally famous for getting no sleep. Elon is known to sacrifice sleep so as to make up for the time he has to offer in micromanaging all his firms. He certainly has a lot to do each day and the 24 hours are just not enough so he bluntly keeps his sleep cycles to a bare minimum. He himself acknowledged the fact that he doesn't waste much time sleeping and even went on to quote that sleep is for losers. This garnered a lot of attention from the psychiatric domain and the media. Ariana Huffington, a member of the Uber board and the author of the 2016 book, The Sleep Revolution, Transforming Your Life One Night at a Time, suggested that Musk clock in more hours of shut-eye and called out his manic work schedule as a self-defeating tool. In response to his interview with New York Times, where Elon bragged about himself regularly pulling all-nighters at his factory, taking a hypnotic drug to fall asleep and having absolutely no time for friends and family, Huffington warned him in an open letter posted on The Thrive Global, saying, Working 120-hour weeks doesn't leverage your unique qualities. It wastes them. But Elon isn't the kind to take criticism lightly. After spending another long night at the Tesla factory, he went on to clear the air. Ford and Tesla are the only two American car companies to avoid bankruptcy. I just got home from the factory. You think this is an option? It is not, Musk tweeted at around 2.30 a.m. He had just logged in a 120-hour work week and added that it has been a necessary action for the revolutionary carmaker's success. In one of his interviews, Elon said, I tried sleeping less, but then total productivity decreases, he said. I don't find myself wanting more sleep than six. He also admitted that such a schedule was not healthy and would have certainly burnt out a few neurons from his brain. No one should put this many hours into your work, he told Ixios in 2018. It's not recommended for anyone. You're gonna go a little bonkers if you work 120 hours a week. However, he still continues to do so. Elon believes that stopping or slowing down his current momentum and intensity is the same as giving up. It's highly unacceptable to him. So what kind of example is he setting for the rest of the world? Who look up to him? There is no doubt that it is taking a toll on his well-being. Let's help you break down his work week. When we say he clocks 120 hours, what exactly does it mean? It simply means that his workdays are a minimum of 17 plus hours, each day across seven days a week. Can you imagine? That leaves you with just seven hours of personal time, which in this case also includes sleep. There is a famous quote that says, there is time for everything, there is also time for sleep. 
Looks like Elon simply doesn't believe in this mantra. However, there is no doubt that he is either bordering or already suffering from bouts of sleep deprivation. Enough sleep is just as important for good health as nutrition and exercise. It is the only thing that can mean everything, but requires nothing. It's absolutely free. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or CDC, recommends that all adults between the age of 18 to 60 years require a minimum of seven hours of sleep a night. There are numerous studies that have been published which showcase the untoward effects of sleep deprivation for long periods of time. It can actually be quite dangerous, indeed, resulting in obesity, diabetes, high blood pressure, coronary heart disease, stroke, frequent mental disturbances, distress, and sometimes even death. Surveys conducted by the CDC also revealed that a third of the adults in the U.S. aren't getting their recommended dose of sleep. So Elon isn't the only one denied the luxury of sleep. Matthew Walker, a neuroscientist and sleep expert at UC Berkeley, who is popular among NBA and NFL players and is known to offer them sleep advice, summed up his outlook on sleeping. In an interview with Business Insider, he was quoted saying, The shorter your sleep, the shorter your life. He went on to add that he ardently and religiously practices his share of at least eight hours of sleep opportunity he gets. Being deprived of sleep can affect the human at not only the psychological and the emotional level, but also at the physical level. Let's take a look into what really happens to your body when you clock less than the recommended hours of sleep, which is a minimum of seven to eight hours. Here's a little biology for you. Sleep deprivation is directly proportional to the production of the natural killer cells in the body. These help fight cancer or any viral infections. One single four to five hour night of sleep can reduce the count of these cells of defense by about 70%. Reduced sleep increases your chances of shuddering from chronic diseases like Alzheimer's, obesity, stroke, and diabetes. In fact, if you aren't clocking the right hours, in just a week's time, you could be diagnosed with pre-diabetes, a condition where sugar isn't absorbed optimally or it takes longer. Long-term effects can be seen even on the heart, blood vessels, and kidneys. The World Health Organization has taken note of these adverse effects of sleep deprivation and has even listed night work as a probable carcinogen. Although it may not apply to everyone, the likelihood is high. Here is a list of conditions that are closely associated with sleep deprivation, some of the less common ones being chest pain, confusion about identity, place, and time discouragement, false or unusual sense of well-being, irritability, trouble concentrating, trouble sleeping, unusual tiredness or weakness. The commonly occurring ones are drowsiness, headache, muscle aches, sleepiness, or unusual drowsiness. But there are exceptions to everything. Walker goes on to say that there is a class of people who make up 1% of the whole population, whom he calls the sleepless elite. These people can survive on barely six hours of sleep and function as well as the others. Walker says these bunch of night owls share an incredibly rare gene called the BHL HE41. Now, not all of us are bestowed with this lucky charm, but who wouldn't want to sleep, right? Does Elon belong to this class of people? Probably. Scientists believe that sleep is the most important form of repair mechanism our body has, and getting enough of it will ensure that you're feeling fit and energized for what's to follow. It's not like sleep deprivation isn't acting upon Elon Musk. In 2018, Elon tweeted regarding his claim to take the company Tesla private. This resulted in an almost instant drop of Tesla's market value by 10%, and the company's board members for sure lost their sleep over it. Elon is often known to make some irrational decisions, and even the smallest passing remark on social media has adversely affected the stakes of his company. Is lack of sleep showing upon him? Musk admits himself that he sometimes takes an Ambien to fall asleep. Ambien is a prescription hypnotic drug given to people having trouble sleeping, a condition called insomnia. And like any other drug, Ambien too comes with its own set of side effects. Some of them include abnormal thinking, behavioral changes, and complex behaviors such as hallucinations, according to the FDA. The warning label also points at the likelihood of suicidal thinking and worsening of depression on regular consumption of this drug. 
Walker has detailed all the problems associated with this drug and its after effects, and associated dependence and drug withdrawal symptoms in his book, Why We Sleep. He says that he would rather suggest a cognitive sleep therapy session than prescribing the drug itself. It would be desperately sad to see him fall into ill health, sickness, or disease by way of insufficient sleep, referring to Elon. The irony that a lot of high-pressured, high-profile people miss is that less sleep does not equal more productivity. Sleep is responsible for dramatically accelerating efficiency and effectiveness, which leads to enhanced productivity. So if you want to follow in the lines of Musk, expecting to deal with sleep in the same way he does, then remember. If the reason that you are not sleeping enough is that you want to excel more, then we would argue that it's certainly the wrong approach. Sleep is an essential part of life, but more importantly, sleep is a gift. On that note, we're leaving you off to snooze. But before that, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more such amazing content. Nighty night, folks.